Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Sim UK. Welcome back to Train Life, a railway simulator. You can see we've got our Christmas hats on, and um, if you look inside, we've got some Christmas lights. Just a little patch update that's been added to the game that I think is just a nice little touch. Look at that. From Nacon and Simteract. Yeah, very cool. I like that a lot. Um, a nice little touch to the game. Yes, well done. I also realised uh, we're going to get told off for not having uh, having our fog lights on, so let's just turn those on right there. Oh, look, a little present, a little star. Yeah, it's nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so Merry Christmas to you all. Um, we're going to try and pick ourselves up a job. Um, we've got a couple of uh, contracts available here. Um, we've got two flower wagons. Um, I think they're they're the two that we've delivered. And once we've got ten, we'll get like an upgrade or something. Um, so contracts two at the Frankfurt Food Processing, and one up here at Frankfurt Forest. So let's have a look at the forest first. Services take contract four wagons to London Sawmill. Oh, that's interesting. That'll take us back to where we started. That's quite a long drive, that. Um, so, what can we do instead of that? So, we're, we're at the food processing plant. Services take contract. Dortmund and Mannheim. Again, not very interesting. So, I think I might do... Whoops. I might do the, uh, the one to London and just see if we can pick anything up along the way. So, let's... Uh, Oh, Hanover Refinery has a few as well. So let's get ourselves moving in the direction we want to go. And it looks to me, actually, like we're facing the wrong way here. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get out and go around this way. So we're going to need to turn around and come across this way. So, okay. Let's back up. Technically, we don't have to go in the correct way round. But we will. Okay, so let's back ourselves up. It's just a nice little uh, touch, isn't it? The old Christmas lights. I like it. It definitely works for me. Alrighty. Cleared the point. Oh, there's a little reindeer there as well. I didn't see that. Very nice.
so whilst whilst we're ticking over and doing the do we'll see if we can get access to any of the further contracts now apparently not the nearby stations don't yet include uh, the Hanover refinery. We may not get access to them until very late, so... Uh... Nice rolling hills out there. It would have been nice if we had some snow. I was kind of hoping the Christmas update might some snow on proceedings but you can definitely see it's foggy the other day when I was getting told off for not putting on my fog lights I didn't really feel like it was particularly foggy but it does feel quite foggy today and fog I've got to admit something you don't really see in simulators very often that's a nice little touch as well Twenty one degrees C in here. It looks like it's reset my uh, air conditioning settings. Not quite sure what the benefit of the air conditioning is at the moment. Hanover Refinery. Let's just see what they've got. Oh, nice. Two wagons going to London. So we'll grab that as well, and we'll take it all back to London. And anything else we can find along the way, we'll take with us too. Now, we shouldn't get into trouble here, because we're coming off this track. But he's not far away, is he? Okay, I just need to get access to this. Frankfurt Forage Service... Station access, okay. So where is my pickup point? Look at look looks like it's on the right hand track here somewhere. Oh I see it. All the way over there. The train on the radar is just there. Oh no, I missed my train. Oh. Nuggets. Got distracted. Back it up a little way. Disaster averted.
I think we're picking up five trailers here, right? Should be enough space. Uh, okay, let's go Frankfurt Forest. Services take contract. Four, four wagons to London Sawmill. There we go. Fantastic, look at that. Very nice. Okay, so we're coming straight up here to Hanover Refinery. And uh, we'll grab the extra little bits there as well. So let's contact Hanover Refinery. Get station access. Take contract. Two wagons to London take automatically. Wonderful. A decent haul going to London. Nice tunnel section. What I might do is come back through the forest and uh, avoid that train. <laughs> so I need to get over into the left hand track here. Where's my pickup point? Can't quite see it. One of these two, but which one? Ah. Neither. Get on the radio, see what's going on here. Hanover Refinery Services take contract. Two wagons to London, take automatically. That's cancelled it. Why has that cancelled it? Let's try again. Services take contract. 
Two wagons to London. 85,000 for this. Take automatically. So if I just press U, will that just add them? Oh yeah, they're at the back there. Yeah, we're all good. Right, what we need to do though is turn around and I think I can see yeah, there's a turnaround point ahead of me here, so let's crawl over to that and then we'll start heading back towards London and if there's anything else we can pick up along the way that would be great a bit of extra cash in the bank always helps especially seems we're uh, a little bit short on cash at the moment, 15,000 in the bank bit of a scary place to be Oh look, levitating uh, staff. Must be Christmas. Alright, in we go. Reverse train direction. How much fuel have we got? Let's refuel. Our brake off, brakes off. Dead man switch switched. Let's get ourselves on the go. Right, we are now heading all the way back to Londinium. Uh, Londinium Sawmill, I think, is the first stop. And then what's the next one? Power plant. That is a long drive. And I'm not even convinced we're going to have enough fuel for this. But the less faffing about we do, the better. Loads of wheel slip, look at that. So if I get on the blower to Frankfurt Forest and request station access then we can go through there and avoid that train if it's still there. I don't know if it is. Yeah, it looks like it is. The train is broken down. So we need to get over into the right-hand track. Oh, hang on, this train looks like it's broken down a little bit closer to us than the other train was. So I've got the right-hand lane switched. Yeah, I think he's on our track here, so I'm going to have to switch lanes. Okay, that's fine. Not a problem. We've got that covered. Broken down train. I've not got the cab lights on. There we go. A bit more Christmassy.
So yeah, we got a train on the radar. But we're going to go through uh, the forest. So we should just avoid this guy completely. Does mean we have to slow down a little bit, but... Um, I'm not convinced that trains in this game actually move once they stop. So, better, I think, just go around him completely. Have to slow down a bit here. No, I did. I I got access to the... What? I've just been fined £500. I don't have permission to be here, but I do. Because I contacted them and asked for permission to be here. What are you shouting at? I literally just radioed them and asked for permission, didn't I? Never mind, we'll take it on the chin. So what are we looking at here? We want to go right. We could take a shortcut through the Frankfurt food processing plant. In terms of fuel, that might be a good idea. Services, station access. I never bothered to read that, but I always presume that they have given us access. Makes things a little bit more interesting, doesn't it? What else can I take a photo of here? So we should have access to go through the food processing plants. Hopefully it will cut down on our fuel usage and delivery time. No fine this time, that's always good. I'm 
sure there's a way to get rid of the HUD. I have to look into that. far so good. Alright, so we're going to come down, we're going to stay right. And then we're going to go through the Frankfurt warehouse, so let's uh, make sure that we've got permission to do that. Really interested to see what train options we've got. I'd love it if I could get hold of a Steam. I don't think it's going to be in the game, but that would be nice. I know ice is coming. At some point, if it's not already here, could already have arrived. Speed things up a little bit. I don't want to go into that siding. I've got to be careful of that. Stay right. I think. Yep. needs to cut those branches down a bit. Right, now we should have access to the warehouse. I think the jury for most of us is still out on whether or not the radio communications are necessary. But I've, I've got to admit, 
without it, I think the game would be less interesting because that's part of the challenge, making sure that you're on the right track, you've got access to the right locations. This is exactly the challenge I, I like to get my teeth into because it is tricky, keep on top of stuff. I wish I didn't have to keep coming out of the game in order to, to do it, but yeah. Definitely getting there. Definitely of interest. Right, so Frankfurt uh, Warehouse, Frankfurt Main. Frankfurt Main. Are we going through Frankfurt Main? No. No. Cologne Main, yes. I've got to keep my eyes open for any uh, Cologne stations popping up just to see if they've got any contracts that we might be interested in heading towards London like the Cologne power plant for example they've got nothing shame There we go. <laughs> Trying to get my high beam back up. An approaching train has been spotted. Oh dear gosh. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Where am I meant to be going then? It looks like he's stopped. So I'm guessing we've got to change lanes. And I can see a change point there. So he's stopped in order for us to go past. So that's pretty cool. It's got quite a few trailers on there, isn't he? Quite a few wagons. Awesome. Awesome stuff. So I'm still not sure what the maximum number of wagons you can have on the back of your loco is. And does it change depending on which loco you have? Train on the radar. It's okay. So we can avoid the power plant. Pretty sure I just I did just check there, didn't I? Yeah, they've got nothing. Oh, am I speeding? Terribly sorry, I'll beam. I was about to say, I'm surprised the Frankfurt Warehouse is still on the list. But uh, that's gone now, so we should see some Cologne stuff popping up. 
be nice if we could pick up one more job going to London. That'd be like, uh, you know, approaching 200,000 for this episode, if we can pull it off. And then maybe we could get a second employee and maybe hook up something that will start delivering mail. It seems to me like mail is certainly an area to unlock certain aspects of a, a city. But uh, it's, not, it's not exactly um, crystal clear how everything interacts at the moment. There's going to be a bit of trial and error, no doubt. Come on, we must be in range of something in Cologne by now. Apparently not. Cologne, Maine, obviously I'm going to have to uh, get permission to go through there. Definitely speeding. May derail, look. Oh! Oh, I think we wobbled. Did you see it wobble? Oh, that's nice to know. I didn't know derailing was actually a thing. I think it is. Because the train definitely had a bit of a wobble there. I think I got the brakes on just in time. That was interesting. Don't know what I'd do if the train derailed. Don't know what options I'd have. Okay, speed limits back up to 80. We've got Cologne Warehouse. get over on the right hand side so we can go around the warehouse Nice reflections in the uh, the paintwork there. 
There you go. But weirdly, if you zoom in too much, it disappears. Slightly odd. Right. Make sure we're on the right track here. Not speeding too much. Interruption. Oh, alone is definitely cool. I think it's the coolest station out of all the stations I've seen. Also, relatively realistic. Right, so we're going to go round the warehouse, so we do want to stay right. We are speeding slightly, but I don't care. Because it's going to come back up to 80 right now. We're still speeding, but only just. Oh, Cologne Warehouse. I've completely forgot that I was trying to get extra jobs. got nothing. What about the grain mill? Anything? Services? Take contracts? No. Not going in the same direction as us, unfortunately. An approaching train has been spotted. You're right. If we stay right, we should be fine, yes. Unless he suddenly veers over into our track. No, all is good. Oh, he's got his Christmas hat on as well, and his Christmas lights. That's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, Cologne Farm. Cologne Farm. How is that not coming up first in the list? Cologne Farm. Services. Take. Contract. Sabrooken so and Hague. No, no good to us. Um, stay. Let me just concentrate here for a second. Watch out, you may derail. Why might I derail? What are you doing, 88? My right, action. Oh. The speed did drop down there on me a little bit. Back up to 90 there, look. Right, action warehouse services take contract. Nothing at all. Not doing very good at picking up this extra job. coming up. Action coal mine was a no. Warehouse and action main. Yeah. Let's get station access.
Hatch and Coal Mine Services take contract. Nothing. Okay, so we've got we've got permission to be at Action Main, so we can just go straight through. Oh no! No! Accidentally, accidentally didn't change it in time. That's so frustrating. That is so frustrating. I, I literally must have clicked it half a second too slow there. Right, we're backing up. Can't afford to do this too many times, or even at all, to be honest. Because the fuel situation is... I mean, we're nearly halfway through the fuel already. Maybe I should put some perks on fuel usage. That might help. Look, you can see it's on left. Just make sure the track point is passed. There we go. Slam the brakes on. Swap the reverse. So make sure we're in left. And away we go. We'll spin it away. Tooting our horn. For a second then, I thought we were going right again. Oof. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I've already got access to action main. It should just be a straight through drive from this point on. Stay right. Now it may well be that I need to pull over somewhere and get some fuel. Just like in Euro Truck. <laughs> that may be a possibility. In order to go through Action Main, we need to come down to 50. I'm just going to let the engine just drop itself. Now, we should have permission here, because I did ask for permission. Fingers crossed. Will be the case. speeding on the way out, never hurt anyone. This is the really long stretch, where it's just basically flat out. I hardly need to think or do anything. Oh, 
What? 80? Come on. Yeah, I mean, come on. That was a bit of a pointless speed reduction for a hundred feet or whatever and then straight back out to a whatever it was oh. I'm going to take a risk here and I'm going to go into the next track I don't need to press that button, I can press the X button. Then I can actually look and see where he is and see if I need to slam the brakes on. There we go. So he was in the right hand track. We should be fine. Where are we? Wow. I don't think we're quite halfway. This is going to be so tight in terms of fuel. Oh, big stutters. I wonder if I've got any points I can... Uh, oh, I do, I have one perk point. Okay, well, let's go and... Uh, my skills, fuel usage... Fabulous. I'm not sure if that's going to help us or not. I don't make too many mistakes, we should be fine, I think. Oh, there was a mistake. Put the handbrake on by accident. What I meant to do was press that button. Okay. Just stepped out briefly to get myself some dinner. One spaghetti bolognese later, and we're back on track. It's a shame that these... Um, I was kind of hoping that springy tree kind of wobble about with a bit of physics, but no. All the lights, a bit of physics would have been nice. But it wasn't to be. That fruit pastel was definitely difficult to swallow. Oof. Crikey. That church over there is a bit of a distance to get to. Alright, what have we got coming up? Absolutely nothing. I think the, uh, oh, okay, they're all there. Nothing. I get the impression that the, the radio signal is like a, a radial signal instead of what's coming up on the track. Personally, I prefer it to be what's coming up on the track. Just makes life that little bit easier, doesn't it?
So I think flashing yellow lights in this game just means slow down a little bit. Oh, hey, up, what's this? Train has broken down ahead. So we've got green lights on the right hand side track. And if I can just spot where he is before we get to him. I think he is on the left hand track. Is he on the left hand track? No, he's not on the left hand track. I've just been fined a thousand pounds. Okay, that didn't... I really tried not to be on the same track as him as well. That's a... That's a darn sight irritating, I, I have to say. I did look. Maybe I should have been looking at the lights and not trying to look at the train. Alright, let's back her up. Yeah, I can see there's a red light. Okay. So in future then, I, I need to be more reliant on the lights and trust them. The thing is, I don't trust them. Though it would have said, that would have shown that the right track was blocked and the left track was clear. There's a lot of trains that break down. I wonder if my train ever breaks down. Hope not. Merry Christmas, buddy. Brussels, Main. I don't think we're going through Brussels, Main, are we? Brussels Warehouse, though. It looks like we're going straight through the middle of that. I better make sure we've got... Uh, permission to do so. Fantastic. Or are we? Yeah, we must be. Yeah, here we go. Eighty kilometer an hour limit. Slowing down to 50. We'll just cruise on in. There we go. Lovely stuff. We come straight out the end of here and we're up to 80 again. 
So we're in a good place. Get up to speed before we get out. So this is Brussels, Maine, right? I need to say Brussels, Maine services station access just in time. Now. Oh, I did not want to get down there. That was an accident. Trying to brake and steer at the same time. Not exactly the easiest thing in the world. Right, so what's coming up then? Brussels Smeltery. So let's see if we can get hold of them. We can. Services. Take. Contract. Luxembourg. Mm, I don't think we're passing Luxembourg on the way to London. No. Okay. Right, well. That's not going to be an option. Sadly. Train on radar. Okay. So. Keep an eye on the track. Let the lights tell me which way to go. And I'm not slowing down. Oh, crap. Slowing down. So the lights didn't actually tell me anything. I don't know if you noticed that. Both the uh, both the track lights were red, so actually that doesn't work as an option. That's not going to resolve your dilemma. You still have to work it out as soon as you see the train, which is not easy. Speeding. Bit of stutter. I feel like there's possibly a memory leak in this game because it does appear to um, get more stuttery with time. The more you play it, the more stuttery it becomes. I've no idea which which way around the, the switch is set at the moment. Okay, that's good. 
So, Lil Sawmill, have they got anything? Hanover, that's no good to us. Brussels Warehouse, what about you? Nope, that just disappeared. Now, St. Quentin Sawmill, we've, we've worked with them before. Oh, no, it's back. It just came back. Lil Warehouse. Okay, services. Take contracts. Nothing at all. St. Quentin Sawmill. Services. Take contracts. Mannheim. No, it's going in the opposite direction. So we're probably not going to be able to pick up a third delivery, I wouldn't have thought. We're into France now. Next on the agenda, obviously, is Britain. We'll be in London in no time. Still, the jury is out, of course, on whether or not we'll have enough fuel to accommodate this journey, but unless you try, you never know for sure. We did we did ping that one perk point on the fuel usage, so hopefully that extra five percent is going to save us having to refuel on on the way. Need to tie my switch change here. Nice field of wheat. Or is it corn? Difficult to tell, isn't it? An approaching train has been spotted. Alright, let's bring the speed down. Look ahead as best we can. Yep, okay, so we're going to swap over to the left track. And all will be fine. speeding. Bit of a tight corner coming up. sure our speed is at 80 or whatever it suggests we do not want to derail I've got to get access to Lil Main as well okay just in time
Down to 50. Stutter there. That was a tricky little intersection. up to speed. Alright, what have we got now? Little factory. Have you got anything for us? Take, contract, nothing at all. What about Calais Green Mill? Where are we coming up to next? Yeah, Calais Green Mill. Right, let's have a look. Services, take contracts. No. No good. Damn this camera. What have we got coming up? The Calais, Calais Smeltery and the Calais Warehouse. So... Nope. And... Nothing at all. Well, we have struck out quite a bit here, haven't we? We're not going to get that third job and the 200,000 we were looking for. We are running out of fuel. Yes, we are. We are running out of fuel and I don't think we're going to make it. I don't know. I don't know. If we can make it just to the first drop-off then we can get fuel there. Bit of a harsh right hand turn coming up. Well, the game says 110. The game doesn't seem to think it's a harsh corner. 
It looks like one though. Oh, it did drop down to 90, but we're good. We're only just over that. Right, we're on the home stretch now to London, I think. Oh no, Calais Warehouse to go. Pretty sure I checked in with Calais Warehouse, didn't I? Yeah, got nothing at all. Sharp left coming up. It's a long stretch, this one, all the way up to London Pump Jack. Now, we may have to stop in there and get some fuel, it's possible. Um, but we'll find out as we get closer, I guess. Nothing's popping up on the radar radio yet. Fuel situation looking a little bit scary. This must be the Channel Tunnel. It didn't really occur to me before, but yeah, that makes sense. Probably not allowed to do that in the Channel Tunnel. <laughs> Gonna get reprimanded for that, I've no doubt. London Pump Jack. Alrighty, let's have a look here. Services take contract. Going to Luxembourg. Five wagons going to Luxembourg. That's not bad. Oops. Yeah, if we could grab that and another five going to Luxembourg, then maybe we'd have a decent job on, on, on the go there. I could send my employee, couldn't I? Let's have a look, see what he's doing. Okay. What's happened to my employee? Okay, he's he's on the go somewhere. So we're we're doing this one. We're taking these logs to London Sawmill. 
and he's taking heating oil. Only two, though. Why? Well, it's going to earn us 85,000, so who cares why? Well, it's not actually. We're going to get about 20,000 of that. But okay, that's fine. If I can get another train up and running, uh, I'll be happy, I think. It's a bit weird how you can't see your employee in the employee list whilst he's doing a job. Just needs a general polish, this game. Period of, um, yeah, making making certain aspects of it a little bit better than they currently are. That's all it needs, really. And the updates. Let's have a little chat about the updates. A 54 megabit... Me, me, a 54 megabit... Oh my gosh. A 54 megabyte update should not take six hours to install. What this game does, for whatever reason, is it... Um, rewrites the entire game in order to install a 56 meg patch which is really stupid the system they've got in the update is is so wrong they definitely need to sort that out because that is unsustainable i won't be installing any updates from this game if they take six hours to uh download and install that's just madness go back in Great Britain it's great to be home I think I think I think we've got enough fuel just to get to our first drop off it is a bit of a gamble we've, we've come all the way from Frankfurt quite impressive really Animal on the tracks. I'm going to veer left in the hope that he gets out of the way or that he's on the other track. He certainly appears to be over on the right hand side, doesn't he? Oh, don't run across. Oh, my God. He started running across our side of the track. And a little mini panic there. Oof. Right. So we've got 5% fuel and it is dropping fast. And here we are, though. This is London Sawmill. This is our drop off. Still 5% fuel. Guys, takes me back to driving in the car a couple of weeks back. We were that close to running out of fuel. It was, uh, I think it was 8 miles. It was 8 miles to the nearest petrol station. And we had enough fuel for 6 miles. And I had to drive really conservatively. Oh, hang on. in time look I had to drive really conservatively just to get the fuel to jump up where it was supposed to be um, I can't see where we're supposed to be it looks like over on the right to me I think it is wow what a fantastically long journey that was, all the way from Frankfurt.
Or have I gone too far? Oh, it wants me to go the other side. You are joking. It wants me to deliver them that side. You are having a flipping laugh. Right, note to self. Contact them early and tell them that you've got a delivery coming in. Because otherwise, you're just going to end up on the wrong side of the tracks. That's infuriating. How far back am I going to have to go? Okay, we got lucky. Are we going to have enough fuel? Oh my gosh. 3% fuel left. <laughs> We're definitely cutting it fine here, aren't we? Good news is, of course, we can get fuel right at the end of the track here. Oh no, we're going to have to back it up first. Well, that's that's going to be tight, isn't it? 3% fuel. Right, so we go you and the couple there. We go you Okay, that has not worked as I expected. Okay, that has not gone quite as I expected. Uh, London Sawmill, deliver, contract, four wagons, deliver manually. If I'm doing this manually then, does that mean I've still got... I've still got the logs. But I've, I've let go of the other bits, right? And now if I decouple... There we go. That's a little bit weird. I've got to say, that is a little bit weird. Can't open the decoupling panel, there are no wagons to decouple. But what about my wagons back there? I'm a little bit concerned now. Am I going to be able to pick up the remaining few bits before I run out of fuel? I can't touch those. I know I can't touch those. Right, 
right there we go initiate coupling so you just got to get close enough then basically that's what it is all right that's groovy will i have enough track here to do this it's going to be tight isn't it i'm hoping we've just got enough oh that is going to be tight that is going to be very tight because I cannot touch it at all oops have I, have I got to go back further this is kind of telling me that I don't have permission Just got to straighten out a little bit more. Maybe those lights. Oh my god, this is so tight. Excellent. Three percent fuel left. Just enough to go and get some fuel. Oh. Definitely been demanding this one. It was a long journey. Lots of complicated intersections. And we've learnt even more about decoupling, which is nice. Oh, don't. I could have just gone straight on, look. I, d I couldn't see that from where I was. Never mind. Never mind, eh? Never mind. So we'll jump in here, we'll grab our fuel, cost me 20,000 in fuel, but we've got 264,000 in the bank again. That's jolly nice. All right, let's rock and roll our way out of here. We are on our way to our final stop. So if I radio ahead... Oh no, I can't. If I can get access to London Steel Mill, which is there, not the power plant yet. Okay, that's fine. We'll make it work. Oh, I am definitely speeding.
Am I going to get fined before I get out? Nope. Escaped again without being fined. Wonderful job. Okay, so I need to go into the right hand lane. He's stopped and waiting for me. Thank you very much, sir. Another great job. There's the Thames. See if I can get access to the power plant. Just popped up. Services, station access, deliver, contract, two wagons from a refinery, deliver manually. Fantastic. Nearly there, guys. Nearly there. So we'll have uh, 250,000 in the kitty. That, if there's a train available, should be enough to buy a third loco and get another employee on the go um, but I don't know I might dedicate the next episode to getting a mail train set up uh, and I'll be honest I don't really know how to do that right now so uh, yeah that could be an entire episode on its own just trying to figure that out and maybe, maybe having one crack at it Seeing if it's more fun than uh, freight. I don't know. I don't know. Freight's a bit more free, isn't it? Got a decent amount of money on it. When you when you start bringing passengers into the fray, things start getting a bit awkward. Like Basil Forty used to say, I could run this hotel perfectly if it wasn't for all these blooming customers. <laughs> that must be the power plant just there, look. See it very well. So, hopefully, it's going to tell us exactly where it wants this load dropped off before we get there. go straight to the correct platform or track and drop off. Right, come on, give me some idea. Where are we going? Ah, see, yes, over to the right. Not all the way over to the right. But not all the way over to the left either. Oh my gosh. 
Nearly got caught out by the last section there. Alright, speed off. Brakes on. Should. Be good. Job done. 382,000 in the kitty. That is rather nice. Uh, I can see a factory over there. And I think that's the only one. So we're going to have to back up. Quite a long way, it looks like. Quarter past 11 at night. Good time to arrive and deliver. Why didn't it go left? Oh, okay. No, we're good. We're good. Okay. Oof. Saved at the last moment there. Proper job. Proper job. Right. Well... Have we got enough? I have no idea. To buy another train. Are there any additional trains available? Close from it. <laughs> okay. So let's fix the train. That's ten grand out. Let's refuel. That's another two grand out. Buy locomotives. So I could buy another one of these. Oh, hang on. We can buy a Lechner Cock FZ18, whatever that is. Let's go for a bit of that. We even have enough to buy another sorts gitter, potentially. But uh, let's get a managed locomotives. So let's select this one. All taken contracts will be lost. Yep. Okay. Let's go have a look. Oh my word! Look at our new sexy looking train. Oh man. Still got the Christmas lights up. That's nice. There's a lot less uh, Christmas decorations in here, though. But this is nice. I like this. Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, that's what I was looking for. Oh, look at that. Now, it looks like the pentagraph is going to be up permanently. So we don't have any control over that, which is a bit of a shame. Things like that I'd like to see added to the game. But, uh, yeah, it's early access. We don't need to worry about that sort of stuff just yet. But that's quite nice. Um, I think I need to get some carriages for this. And in the next episode, we're definitely going to have to look at 
some passenger routes and some mail deliveries and stuff. Uh, yeah, okay, well that's interesting. Let's have a look-see. Um, so, we're going to go to passengers and postage mode. And we're going to go adding wagons. So the wagon limit for this train is 12. So if I go one... How much are these wagons, by the way? Two... Hang on, that's not costing me anything. Three wagons, four wagons, five wagons. Hasn't changed my income at all. Six. So six passengers... So the passenger limit is 300, the postage limit is 300. Is that a good idea? I have no idea. Uh, but okay. So I could increase the engine by 25,000 for 25,000. Increase the bogies. I could upgrade the chassis. I can even upgrade... I could do all of that. I can afford to do the whole lot of that. Reverse the train direction. Go back to the train. Have I now got... Oh my god. Look at that. It's such a shame you haven't got a free cam. Or the ability to watch the train drive past you. But that's awesome. We have now got six passenger and six... Oh my god. That's going to make things interesting, isn't it? Holy cow. Yeah, that's awesome. That's proper awesome. I'm really looking forward to the next episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one, though. Uh, please hit the like button, subscribe, etc, etc. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Merry Christmas to you. Bye for now.